Hello, my name is Dr. Jody Stanislaw. I am a naturopathic doctor and a certified diabetes educator. I specialize in helping patients with type 1 diabetes. I was motivated to get into this because I myself was diagnosed with type 1 when I was 7. So uh, managing what I eat and managing my blood sugar level has literally been a lifetime <laughs> career for me. And a uh, quick explanation, I want to separate and explain the difference between type 1 and type 2. Um, type 1 is an autoimmune disease. For some reason, one day I got super sick. I was 7 years old. Um, we don't know why. To this day, we don't know exactly why type 1 happens. But uh, my immune system decided to attack and kill all my cells that make insulin. So I no longer make insulin. So I've been injecting myself with insulin every single day since I was 7. And um, we haven't figured out a way to reverse that. <laughs> so I still take injections every day. Type 2 diabetes, which is what is in the news and what you hear much more frequently, is uh, over 30 million people in the U.S. alone have type 2 diabetes. Uh, for simplicity, I'm going to say that, let's say that diabetes, type 2, is not a disease, okay? It's just that the body is worn out. In type 2, the insulin-producing cells are tired and they cannot make enough insulin. Well, insulin's job is to take sugar out of the bloodstream and feed it to the cells. So just like anything in the body that gets overused, it eventually gets weak and wears out. And so in type two, just simply think of it as the cells that make insulin are tired out. And so if you can't make enough insulin, then the blood sugar levels rise, and that is very damaging. So there's many causes of type 2, I've got to explain, um, I, have, I must mention, but one of the major activities that we have full control of that really pushes yourself towards a greater risk of type 2 is your diet and your lifestyle. Unfortunately, today's American diet, which is, stands for uh, SAD, it's a SAD diet, Standard American Diet, so the acronym is SAD, very appropriate is all of these processed foods, uh, foods that come in boxes and bags and full of sugar and refined carbs. Our bodies are not meant to function on processed foods. The body is meant to, process, to function and thrive on foods that are grown from nature, uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, seeds and nuts, uh, fish. You know, things that you can imagine growing in nature is what the body thrives on. Imagine if you poured apple juice into your gas tank of your car, right? It wouldn't run because it's not the right fuel. And unfortunately, Americans and worldwide, people are eating fuel that is not optimizing the function of their body. And that causes huge health problems. So eating candy, eating cereal, eating yo frozen yogurts and ice cream and chips and crackers and pasta and bread, all, none of these things grow in nature. And so they're not the optimal fuel. But the sad thing is our society acts like everybody else is eating them, so I guess it's normal. And unfortunately, just because the masses are doing it does not mean it's normal or healthy. So when you overeat these kind of non-foods, as I like to call them, all these things that come in packages and bags and boxes, um, you're not optimizing your body and you're weakening the cells that make insulin. You're overstressing them, I should say, because if you drink a bunch of pop or if you eat a bunch of sugar, those cells have to make so much insulin that if you continue to eat that way for the next you know, years of your life, those cells wear out. They can't keep up. They cannot keep making insulin for all of the sugar that you're eating. You're wearing out your cells that make insulin. And eventually that is one of the things that can lead to type 2 diabetes. And you don't want to wear out your cells because if you do and you start having high blood sugar levels, high blood sugar, too much sugar in your bloodstream is very damaging to the body. It's like imagine little bits of glass circulating in your bloodstream and ripping apart the edges of your arteries. I know that's very vivid, but this is very important to grasp. Too much sugar circulating in your bloodstream can lead to heart disease, 
strokes, blindness, kidney failure, Alzheimer's. You do not want too much sugar in your bloodstream. Um, so that's my, that's, that's my kind of introduction to who I am, what I'm all about, and what I'm passionate about helping others. I did a TED talk called Sugar Is Not A Treat that I encourage you to watch. You just put my name, Jody Stanislaw, into YouTube and you'll see it. It has over one million views. And the information that I share is so important because the Center for Disease Control in the US says that if we continue to eat all of these processed foods, that if we continue to eat as Americans as we are, by 2050, one out of three Americans will have type 2 diabetes. So that is a horrible statistic because type 2 diabetes means you have high blood sugar and when you have high blood sugar that is when all of those horrible health complications can come around. Now you certainly don't have to be an adult to have negative impacts of sugar affecting you. Even you as kids that are watching, high blood sugar level can cause headaches, it can cause depression, it can cause fatigue, it can cause you being angry, it can cause you not being able to focus very well, it actually even can cause violent behavior. So it really affects your moods and your energy level. So be aware of that next time you're eating sugar, not only when you eat it, but for the next several hours after you eat it. Um, like I said, I'm very passionate about helping people understand this because I work with type 1 diabetics every day. I have a virtual practice. I work with patients all over the world via video and phone. And I, um, I give them the education they need to have healthy blood sugar levels, even though that we as type 1s don't make any insulin. So you don't want to get type 1 diabetes, um, but you certainly don't want to get type 2, which you're much more in control of. Um, pre uh, preventing type 1 is much harder, but I have, I, there are ways, but that's not, I, we don't have enough time for this video. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so I think I've covered all the questions that I was asked to respond to. If you have any questions for me, please visit my website. My website is Dr. Jody nd.com that's spelled d-r-j-o-d-y-n as in naturopathic d as in doctor.com there's a click there's a link there you can work with me and have a free intro call and you can see I have a retreat for type 1 diabetics or anybody wants to learn about type 1 I love helping people better understand that and so I made this video for a seventh grade class in California and I hope all of you are inspired to go home and have a conversation with your parents and say, you know what, I want to eat less sugar. Can you help me? Um, if you do that, I'd be very proud of you. So thank you for watching and have a healthy day. And I hope you have a very healthy meal ahead of you, whatever you're about to eat next. Have a great day. Bye.